Good morning. Welcome back to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host, and joining me today, we've got a good guest in, uh, Warren Cranford. Uh, he's a benefit specialist with Medicare uh, uh, supplements, Medicare Advantage plans, and Warren, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. In fact, the original Medicare, um, where, you know, basically with original Medicare, you can visit any doctor that accepts uh, Medicare. Correct. So you don't, you're not limited in any way. Um, and then, you know, other effects, so, so for people that travel, uh, whether it's United States or foreign travel, how, how might that affect their, their benefits? Yes, it, uh, good question. So um, Medicare Part A and, uh, is, uh, is hospitalization, Medicare Part B is your medical. So if you, you want to stay with and your path is original Medicare, then um, uh, as far as uh, adding uh, um, um, a supplement and things like that, mm -hmm. one of the advantages uh, that uh, folks might like the fact is uh, that with the Medicare uh, if they visit, they can visit any doctor, like you said, in the United States that accepts Medicare. And then, um, if they frequently travel and they're snowbirds, now that's that's within the United States. Keep in mind mm -hmm. that uh, uh, original Medicare uh, may be more of the path that they want to take because uh, with Medicare Advantage, which is Part C of Medicare. Um, you're, uh, you have to live in your, at your primary residence uh, six months out of the year, um, and, uh, and you're, you're restricted with your options with your, your advantage plans and stuff as far mm -hmm. as crossing state lines. And that and has to, to travel do. with it, but yeah. um, if you're going to be, if you're going to travel in an RV for six months out of the year, if you're going to go down and live uh, in, in you know, whatever southern state during the winter months, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. for three months or so, then, then whoever's advised you would, would uh, definitely take in consideration of, of your options and uh, the guidelines and restrictions of how that would work. This is the thing, there. because Medicare Advantage plan you've got a PPO. You've got basically it's a preferred, what's referred to the, the acronym PPO or preferred provider organization has got a listing of doctors and hospitals and that. So of course that's usually based on where you live. Now I have a, a through my work we've got uh, through the office uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. And uh, so what I provide there for my uh, employees is a, is a plan that is also a PPO plan. It's less expensive on the premium side and we've never had a problem as far as doctors we have I think Blue Cross Blue Shield we've never had a, a problem seeing whatever doctors we wanted all of our doctors have, are available for that however if you travel into a different area that's where it could get a little dicey and even though you would have coverage especially for emergency type things and that uh, you if you're gonna live you know if you're living in Florida for instance eight or nine months out of the year you should get a plan in Florida right that's gonna be centered around that area so wherever you spend the majority of your time if it's here in Tennessee of course for most of us then uh, this is this would be fine as far as an advantage plan just understand that difference and also understand the differences in these different type of coverages so we're talking about, for instance, we'll go into more detail here about Part A. This is your hospital or your inpatient care. And again, this one, even if you're still working and, and uh, you have insurance through your employer, a lot of times these plans want you to have or to sign up for Medicare and at least get the hospitalization part. And again, there's no premium for that. So talk a little bit more, uh, Warren, about um, what Part A covers. Yeah, Part A is your hospitalization now uh, with original Medicare uh, it's important to uh, uh, mention here that uh, there are deductibles and co-insurances that are part of mm -hmm. of your uh, part a uh, benefit with with uh, Medicare again Medicare uh, uh, benefits Medicare uh, insurance or original Medicare is not free mm -hmm. and so uh, there's not a maximum amount of pocket um, and there's uh, um, some uh, guidelines there and stuff as far as uh, where it can be used. So, you know, one of the things, too, I want you to talk a little bit about, uh, Warren, is that because I think it's a, a major misconception I've seen with people, you know, just as with why the, you know, there two things, one or three, we'll say. Uh, the first one, what Medicare costs me? I've mm -hmm. got to pay for this. That's one misconception. People are not thinking that they're, once they hit Medicare, they're somehow not going to have any out of pocket costs. Uh, another one has to do with Social Security benefits. You know, this is uh, what my Social Security is going to be taxed. 
right? Right. Uh, they thought that was tax-free, so another misconception. And then this third one goes with uh, back to Medicare, is that people think that Medicare maybe covers uh, long-term care needs, right. uh, nursing homes, assisted living, that kind of thing. That's and there's right. some, I mean, to a certain degree, there's some coverage, but it's very limited. Right. So original Medicare has guidelines and uh, there's a there's standards, mm -hmm. and so they don't uh, cover long-term care, uh, but they do have um, 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 uh, benefits that if you go to the hospital and you go into like a rehab facility and stuff, there's mm -hmm. uh, certain specific uh, standards and benefits that are offered through Original Medicare. Yeah. And it's a good point, a good place to say that uh, they set the standard there. So when we look at Medigap plans or supplemental plans as, as a path that you'd take, mm -hmm. or Part C of Medicare, right. which is the Advantage Plan path, uh, there, that Medicare sets those standards. And so those, uh, those uh, two different paths have to live up to that. And of course, there's a difference there in with Medicare Advantage plans and stuff, um, how they may go a little bit further in some areas, but they have mm -hmm. to at least meet those minimum standards. And it's understanding as far as uh, your hospitalization piece through Medicare, um, some of this like Part D and Part, um, well, Part D, Part B, uh, as well as, or I'm sorry, Part D, your supplement plan and uh, Medicare Advantage plans, these are through private insurers. So when you're looking at uh, Part A, your hospitalization, one of the things in particular when it comes to nursing home, as understanding as Warren was saying, it's usually a sequence, right? God forbid, but someone has a stroke. They go to the hospital. They're treated there for however long they're in the hospital. Then they're transferred to a rehab facility where hopefully they're going to recover. The rehab facility is is basically like a nursing home. In fact, you probably got patients from both sides there. And one floor has got rehab and another floor has got uh, nursing home uh, uh, patients there. Understanding that the limitations, and sometimes this can be really tough because it's up to 100 days, but there are criteria that have to be met for that 100 days to be paid out. It could be they cut you off at 20 days or 40 days, depending on how your recovery, uh, recovery is going and that you are, in fact, uh, showing that you are recovering and that you're advancing. Understanding too, hospice care is covered under uh, Part A and in home health care under certain conditions. And this is going uh, most specifically to understanding the difference between skilled care and custodial care. So skilled care when it comes to uh, getting coverage, this is maybe again, we've had that stroke, we're back home now, but you still need a physical therapist to come in and help or whatever, right? A respiratory therapist whatever it might be. Skilled care like that would be covered under Medicare. However, custodial care, having someone come in and helping you clean the house or with meals or uh, other, run errands, take you to the doctor, maybe you're not able to drive yet, any of those kind of things, custodial type care, that's not covered. So it's important distinction to understand, and this goes to where sometimes not only when we're talking Medicare and health care costs in general, we have to think of long-term care as kind of a separate matter. All right, and we're not going to get, we, we'll touch on that a little bit, but I'm not going to get into a great deal of death other than to understand, most importantly, that Medicare um, does not cover much when it comes to long-term care. As I said, maximum is up to 100 days. Um, so then uh, Part A premium, again, there's no, uh, it's premium free for most people. Yes, that's right? correct. As long as, and what's the qualifier there of, uh, for that? Well, the qualifier for Part A Again, it goes back to uh, living in the United States uh, or, or living here, uh, being a citizen born, uh, lived here for five years, uh, working 40 uh, counter quarters, yeah. uh, which is about 10 years or more. Uh, again, that, the Social Security office can define uh, your, your status and stuff and where you land there. Mm -hmm. But the average American uh, it qualifies for, for premium free Part A. I sure. think right now might be a good place to interject too what the parts of medicare are uh part a is is well actually let me let me hold you because okay. we got to take right. a break got it. all right but as soon as we <laughs> come right. back it's a great idea so what we'll do we're going to take a break when we come back we'll talk we've talked a little bit about part a we're going to move to part b and talk about the outpatient piece and how that works as well as part d for prescriptions part c medicare advantage get in as much as we can this week we may have to even care come back and do this again next week we'll see Join us here. We'll be right back on the Retirement Report.